Hey, what's up, guys? The last trail, I'm level 19. Uh, I start seeing some changes now. Every team is dropping a lot more experience. And we we'll actually start seeing some new teams to fight with. I don't know about red crystals, I haven't paid much attention. I do want to say that there is some increase too of how much we're getting, but I'm not really sure. But we got more experience and like teams like this. Three champions, before it was used to be two champions, now we see three champions, Amino, Emotar, two Snowzillas. A level 40 all of them. So this one can get tricky because so many stunners. Amino 3 champions and even if you use Ares because there's three champions and Amino and Ares is more likely gonna miss at least one of them and you can get stunned. So and look at that, 140 experience. I think before uh, the maximum I was getting 120 and now actually 140. So even at level 19 we gotta get 100,000 to get to level 20. I think it would be a much faster because each team is dropping a lot more experience. Like small teams like this before it would only give me 60 experience and now 84 experience. But the drops are pretty much the same keep getting a bunch of gold, mana, and bronze keys. I haven't seen any anything different, much difference, but for drops, usually it's just a bunch of bronze keys, but at least we're getting more experience, probably more red crystals, and new teams. That's the, I think this is the old team, that, yeah, this is the old team with two champions, and Mina, four Psyche bosses. This is what was before level 125, but... Oh, Silver King. 120 experience. And here's another new team. Look at that, they added a Pumpkin Duke and a Cupid. With, with a Ninja and Joe. This one might get really tricky, depends on the talent you guys have. Because Pumpkin Luke and Cupid up front tanking, they're gonna get so much aggro and, and they're gonna start proccing. And look at that, my air is not even touching them, and the Pumpkin Luke looks like he still procced. W even with my 4 or 5 revitalized, I couldn't even stop him from proccing. So, that one might get really tricky. We might, some people might have to change their setups for that one. But it shouldn't be bad, but let me get let me know guys if you guys can end up having problems with that team. Depends on the setup you guys use. And I think there is another team that I saw. Let's see if I can get it. This is the old team. Should have no problems with this one. Even with Thunder God, but the other one have the pumpkin look and cupid too but it was in different location and I think that one was a lot easier than with the pumpkin look up front. There's cupid, I think that's the one. Nope, it's the same one. Pumpkin look up front. Let's see it. And my uh, air is still missed. Oh well, still got him. Oh, there's pumpkin again. This is the team that I was talking about. See the Cupid up front and Pumpkin Duke in the middle. This one should give you problems. Try to stay away from Cupid and try to aggro on the Druid and because Pumpkin Duke in the back are not in the front so he's not gonna tank and build a lot of aggro. And I think that one actually drops less experience. And also at level 19, the bronze chest drop three green bags, the crest bags. Before I think the total I ever got that 
gonna drop three of them and maybe maybe twice or three times. A level 19, almost every other one will drop me uh, three crest bags. Here's another team right there with the pumpkin look at the back. So I think yeah, the, the, the chest drop actually drop a lot more stuff. I don't know why IGG picked level 19. I thought it would be like maybe level 20. But a lot of changes at level 19. Maybe we'll have more changes at level 20. Oh wow, look at all my, all my team got stunned. <laughs> I love the setup that I use with Pumpkin Duke in front. And if you guys have Santa and Vlad, you guys should use both of them. It works for pretty much everything. Probably like 99% of the time it works. Maybe like once a day, I have to change. Like I'll, I'll switch my Vlad with Ares. Put Ares up front, depends on the outer battle, depends on somebody's setup. But 99% of the time, I don't even change, just go in, sometimes even twice, and with a lot stunning them and Santa throwing them down, it's just pretty much over in like 7 seconds, 6 7 seconds. Some of these new teams. And, oh, dropped a curse bag. And also guys, what I want to show you is the sacrifice card. I always buy it from a store. I think it's definitely worth it. An amount of sacrifices we get from it. And it's always different sacrifices. Almost every single time I get purple from it. I just bought two of them. And oh, boo, more boo again. But usually I get at least one or two purple from it. So definitely worth it. And thanks for watching, guys. See ya.